Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've decided to do a video on brows, so this is the second part of my Conquer the Classic series and I'm doing this because that's what people asked for. Um, when it comes to brows it's really important to figure out and find a shape that naturally fits your face or that you're happy with and you feel naturally fits your face. Um, if you are finding it difficult and you don't know what your natural brow shape is, Unfortunately, the only way to discover that is to let them grow back in and that's exactly what I did I went through a period where my brows were just completely messed up because people when I went to the threading shops weren't listening to me So I had to like resist the tweezer twitch and just let them go in and that's going to be the easiest way for you to find a shape that you're happy with um, also, if you look at celebrities that have a really similar face shape or bone structure to you and kind of imitate their brows, that's another good way to go. Um, when it comes to hair removal, there's generally three popular methods, which is plucking and threading and waxing. Threading and waxing are quite similar because they both take off a lot of hair at once. Um, for me, I used to like both of these methods and I used to favour threading because it hurt a little bit less than waxing. But I found that now, for me, the shape is still a little bit too sharp. So I have reverted back to plucking. And because of Struggalina over here, that actually fits me a lot better because there are a few like precious brow hairs I have to keep in order to make this side look more full and more natural. And the tendency with threading and waxing was just to clean this up too much and make this one thin so that they look the same but I want this brow to look like this one. So pick a method that um, is gonna give you the results that you're looking for. And then when it comes to products to fill in your brows, there are also three, funnily enough, popular or the most popular ways of filling in your brows are pencil, powder, and pomades. Um, for me, I prefer using a pencil. Powders in my brows look too matte, look too powdery. So in a way they kind of ended up being more makeup-y because the texture was too dry. And brow pomade to me, I mean, I know you can get a really natural looking brow with them, but it's just too much work. I like the convenience of only having a pencil and not having to have a brush and a product to do my brows. And also, um, I think that brow pomades are like, they're really good for doing like fashion bushy brows. And then if you like that Instagram brow, we, we all know what the Instagram brow is, where it's really light in the middle and it fades to a really sharp, dark point at the end. That is the perfect product, but I don't wear either of those brow styles. So for me, a pencil works the best. And then the final thing I want to share with you is like, how do you find out how to measure your brows and where to start and where to finish and where to pluck? So when I was younger, I used to look in magazines and they would always have these pictorials, you know, like these little boxes of people doing like a step-by-step -step process of how to do your brows. But the thing is with the measuring, it never really worked for me. And I used to think like, is there something wrong with my face? Like it's working in this picture, but it's not working for me. So I'm gonna explain what that is. They would take a pencil and they would say, Go from the outside corner of your nose to the outside corner of your eyes and that's where your brow should end and that works and then the second one was if you take it from the outside corner of your nose through the middle of your eye and that should be the highest point of your brow and even though my brows are straight that is generally the highest point but the bit that didn't work was here where they would say take it from the outside corner of your nose and straight up but if you see there's lots of brow hair on this side if i follow this rule Black women tend to have wider noses, so that doesn't work for us. And I was like, well, how can I figure out a way that this would work for women of colour? So, I've found that if you go from this, like, curvature in your nostril and go where it starts, if you place your pencil or your brush there and run straight up, then you find the right place to begin your brows. So if you are struggling with knowing where to start your brows and where to arch and where to end your brows, hopefully that's been a bit helpful. So now that I've done all my talking, I'm going to bring you in a bit closer so you can see my brows in more detail and I'll show you how I fill them in. Okay, so now you're up close and personal and you can see that struggling over here is really patchy and this brow is much fuller. So I'm going to talk you through how I make this one look more like this brow. First of all, I just take some brow gel and run it through both of them. And then I leave it to set for a little while first. So I just fill in the gaps down here. It's very gappy here. And make this line a little bit stronger and heavier at the bottom. I think it needs a little bit more. And you can see now this one looks much more like this one. A little gap here. 
and then I just fill in the other side. So I use really short strokes so it doesn't look too drawn in. And now I'm just going to take some concealer and tidy them up. Um, I used to use a 214 brush, but now I use a 239. Actually, maybe I should show you that one. So um, the 214 is this brush here. It's quite a thin, short hair, dense brush, but now I use this one instead. It's a 239. It was white, but I've just put um, concealer on it, and it's just a bit fluffier, and I find it gives a softer looking like, clean up to the brow. It doesn't look so sharp. be really careful when I use my finger that I don't take it off because it's quite patchy. It's a big big old jump there. That's the first one done. You can really see the discoloration on this side. God where I live is so noisy. Sorry about all the motorbikes and aeroplanes and police cars but that's what happens when you live in London. And there you have it guys, that's how I fill in my brows. They still look really natural and believable. So now that I've finished my brows, I'm just gonna zoom out and do the rest of my makeup. I'm not really gonna talk through my skin too much because I've done a lot of um, skin-based videos recently. So I'll just let you know what products I'm using. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Foundation in 7.5. And then I'm just taking a Zoeva brush and very crudely blending this all over my face. Like that. And then I'm going to use my Radiant Creamy Concealer again and my eye bags. So just go into the darkest areas around my eyes. This little dark bit on the corner and a tiny bit on my lid. And then blend that through. And then for blusher, I'm going to go back to my Sephora um, lip cream. As I really like the pinkiness of this blush at the moment. I'm really into pink. I, I don't really, I don't usually wear pink that much, but at the moment I'm loving it. You have to work quick with these though, because they do set a little. And for my eyes, I'm just going to do a little black liner. Um, I'm taking Amanda to my mum and dad today, because they're going on holiday and they're not going to see him for a month, so... I'm trying to get in as much grandparent time before they go away. I'm not going in too much detail because I am going to do a video on eyeliner as well in this little series. And then just do the same on the other eye. get the flick the same and the same length as well that was a bit longer and then today I'm just going to use the in extreme dimension on its own on the top lashes I usually use the giga black the extended play underneath but like I said, I'm just going to my mum and dad's house. I don't need a full on face today. And maybe a tiny bit on my bottom lashes. I never really use this rod because I, I think it's too chunky. Oh my God, the helicopters. But for today, I'll do. 
And then finally for my lips, I'm using a Bobbi Brown lip um, gloss called Rosy 22. Yes, Rosy 22. It's just a really sheer light pink colour. And then maybe a touch of powder. So I'm going to take a bit of my dark mineralized skin finish and just go underneath the eyes. So guys, that's the final look for today. I know it's another really simple makeup look, but the emphasis today was on how to get big, bold, beautiful brows. Hopefully the tips and tricks I shared with you will make it easier for you when you're doing your own brows. So I've now finally figured out how to get um, social media link buttons on my YouTube page. I'll be posting this look on my Twitter and my Instagram and my Facebook, uh, maybe a day or two after this goes live on my YouTube channel. Wow, rude. <laughs> um, so if you wanna see it in more detail, click on my Facebook or my Instagram or my Twitter, or if you really want to, you can click on all three and you can see it in a bit more detail. Um, I have an idea of what I want to do for my third video and it's a toss up between a smoky eye demo or a smoky eye tutorial and an eyeliner tutorial. Let me know which one you'd like to see me do next. You can send me a DM, tweet me, at me, leave me a message in the comments box below and I will get back to you and decide which one wins. Not that it's a competition because it's not really that deep, but anyway. Um um yeah i think that's it thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye